Do you want to get the latest trending news? Get the best out of entertainment and also get educated. Hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon to get started. God bless you. Hello wonderful people, it's your boy again Zubi King and welcome to another interesting video on my channel. Today's video is about your favorite boy and superstar Lekon. This is the second video I'm making about Lekon. If you missed my first video, check on the description of this video. I will drop the link to my first video about Lekon there. In this video, I'll be revealing 10 sad and hidden truths about Lekon's life, his health condition, his greatest fear, his family, hidden life story and biography relationship, struggles and life before BB Niger and many other hidden things you don't know about him. If this is your first time of watching my video, I want you to know that I post only interesting videos on this channel. So kindly click the red subscribe button and the bell icon below to always get notified when I post new interesting videos like this. Don't forget to share this video to your friends and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. God bless you. Watch this video till the end to find out all the hidden things you don't know about Lekon. Before we move into the full video, who is Lekon? Lekon's full name is Olamilekan Abueleshe. Olamilekan Abueleshe, who is popularly known as Lekon, is a talented and fast rising Nigerian singer, rapper, and reality TV show personality. Lekon came into limelight after being nominated as one of the housemates in the BB Niger Lockdown Show of 2020. The most talked about BB Niger Season 5 reality show. Housemates Lekon was born and raised in Lagos State, Nigeria. The BB Niger star Lekon, who is a graduate of philosophy from the University of Lagos, was born on November 8, 1994, and he attended the Lagos State University from 2012 to 2016. Talking about Lekon's life story, Lekon is neither the most fortunate nor the most unfortunate man out there. He has been through the thick, thin, sweet and bitter part of life. One thing you should know about Lekon is that he hates playing the victim card and tries so hard to avoid those situations. Before getting to this stage of his life, Lekon has worked for several companies in Lagos. He also worked at the Lagos State Ministry of Information and Strategy as a personal assistant to the Assistant Director of Administration and Human Resources of the Ministry. Lekon didn't leave any stone unturned while struggling to achieve his goals. Music has always been Lekon's passion. Even while schooling and working, Lekon still did music. He pursued his music career on the side. During Lekon's stay in the BB Niger house, Lekon revealed to Biggie in one of his diary sections that his greatest motivation for entering the competition was to promote his struggling music career. Talking about Lekon's family and personal life, Lekon unfortunately lost his father in 2017. He revealed this to his fellow housemates in the BB Niger house and also posted several tweets about his father on his official Twitter page. Lekon really misses his dad, although on one of his posts on his Twitter page in 2019, Lekon revealed that him and his dad weren't so close. They had a complicated relationship and this is what Lekon posted on Twitter about his father. I quote, I knew you had left. There it is. We weren't close, not really, but I miss you every day. I miss your smile, your jokes, the fact that you try to understand me, but I was the one that kept my distance. And I miss your voice, I miss your stories, I miss your laughter. Lekon posted a lot of tweets about his father. Some of his emotional and sorrowful tweets have also caused a lot of heated discussions on the internet. Some of his fans on Twitter also took out time to pen down prayer for him.
And this is the controversial tweet from Lacon. I quote, I'm losing a lot of energy and I need you to help me with that. Mom is kinda sick too. I'm gonna be very mad at you if anything happens to her. Like these are the things I need from you right now. Like this is the first time I'm asking you for anything since you left. He also continued, in the next tweet he said, I feel like we will link up soon though. Don't know why I feel that way, but it creeps in and goes. Like obviously, my days on earth get shorter every day, so our link up gets closer every day. Laugh emojis. I'm not suicidal though. It's just thought. This is the longest conversation I've had with you in a long while. That was Lacon's tweet about his father on Twitter. Lacon's controversial post on Twitter in 2019 made more sense and also caused panic after he made a shocking revelation about his health condition in the BB Niger house. Talking about Lacon's health and the reason he is thin, Lacon, in a conversation with his fellow housemates in the BB Niger show, revealed his genotype and why he was thin. Lacon and fellow housemates were talking randomly when a housemate brought up the issue of blood group. All the housemates revealed their blood group, and when it was Lacon's turn, he was hesitating to tell them. This got the attention of many as they encouraged him to speak out. And this is what Lacon said, I quote, My blood group is SC, sickle cell. I don't like to tell people my genotype because I feel they will think I'm sick. Lacon's revelation left his fellow housemates broken. SC and SS are the abnormal genotypes or sickle cells. Some people with SC genotype develop hemoglobin SC disease, a variant of sickle cell disease. However, the anemia is less severe in individuals with genotype SC than SS. Lacon is a very strong man and he hates being seen as weak. Even when he was body shamed countlessly for his body structure and health condition by a fellow housemate, Lacon didn't let it get into his head as he smiled over it and still kept his little health secret to himself in order not to be pitied. Few days to the end of the show, Lacon revealed his genotype to his fellow housemates although he hesitated to reveal it to them because he never wanted to get pity or be seen as a sick person. In one of his songs titled Hip Hop Feet, in his Who is Lacon EP, Lacon made a controversial statement towards the ending of the song. Lacon said he's being misunderstood and that he wants to smell his roses while he was still here. Listen to what Lacon said. So, you're misunderstood? Yes. And mislabeled. And unappreciated. Exactly. Like, I want to smell all my roses while I'm still here. Like, do you get? Like, don't you think I deserve it? Talking about Lacon's music and his journey to fame, Lacon started his music career a long time ago. According to him, he started music at a very early age. Lacon is a talented singer and a rapper. His songs are interesting both musically and lyrically. But despite being very talented, the Nigerian music industry was still very hard for him to break it into. In 2013, young Lacon was seen in the streets of Yaba in Lagos, performing a freestyle at the Mr. and Miss Unilag Prey event. While Lacon was still working and schooling, he still pursued his music dream on the other side. Lacon's consistency and creativity was noticed by several record labels in the country, and in late 2018, Lacon was signed to Fierce Nation Entertainment, a body record label. Known for their positive work with several young talented Nigerian creatives. In the second half of 2019, Lacon put out two weekly visual projects titled Any Given Monday, which were complements to his first label single release, 
titled Fierce, featuring popular Nigerian indigenous rapper Reminis and Jinko Ikun. Lekon kicked off 2020 with his much anticipated Wiz Lekon EP, released on April in 2020. Lekon's song and EP didn't get much attention and recognition until mid 2020. Lekon's life and music career changed positively on July 19, 2020, after he stepped into the Big Brother Niger house as the 19th housemate in the BB Niger reality TV show. During Lekon's stay in the BB Niger show, Lekon revealed that his main reason for competing for the show was to promote his struggling music career. He also revealed that he didn't know how long he would stay in the show. That was why he started promoting his song from his second day in the BB Niger house. Lekon talking about his greatest fear after leaving the BB Niger house. The BB Niger star Lekon, while in a conversation with fellow housemate Ningi, Lekon revealed what scares him after leaving the BB Niger house. He confessed to her that the fame that comes with being a celebrity is one thing which makes him afraid. He also said fame will make him grow as an artist, but he doesn't want it to affect him negatively. In his words, I quote, I pray I don't lose myself with the fame from this house. I'm scared of fame, including meeting new people and how to treat them. Lekon also said people have treated him differently once when he released a popular song and it was very hard for him to deal with. Lekon is no doubt a very humble man and that has really helped him to get to where he is currently. More grace to Lekon. I wish him the best in life. Talking about Lekon's relationship status, Lekon is not yet married, so he's single as at the time of posting this video. Just finished this Saturday night party, and all I gotta say is, of Lay 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 of Lay Khan. Why you not dancing again? Dance, bro. Dance. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. I need your attention. Listen, I need to be famous. My EP dropping. I need everybody to cop it. Listen.